Hello everybody uh, and welcome to this exercise. In this exercise I'm going to show you how to make some shiny metal surface textures. So let's get started. First of all let's create the aluminium texture. I'm going to draw a square and I'm going to set the color to be gray. That means I'm going to set the saturation to be zero and the lightness I'm going to make it a bit lighter. Something like that. And next I'm going to go to filters, film effects and I'm going to go to film grain to apply the film grain. But I'm going to edit it a bit. I'm going to go to filters, filter editor and I'm going to rename it to Brushed Metal. I'm going to go to Turbulence and I want the base frequency to be much lower in the x-axis. So I'm going to click on Link to make sure the two base frequencies are not linked and I'm going to set the base frequency in the x direction to 0 0.04 or something like that. Very low, but not quite zero. Next, I see that I have quite a big difference between the light areas and the dark areas. And I'm going to change that by changing the composite values. I would like K1 to be a bit lower something like that so that the gray parts stay gray and don't become white i'm going to change this k1 amplify the first input a bit and i'm going to decrease k2 decrease the second input a bit so that there's a bit more uh, gray. Let's also remove the stroke. Next I'm going to add some shine to the surface. I'm going to press Ctrl D to duplicate the object but I'm going to remove the filter and I'm going to give it a 28% opacity and I'm going to give it a gradient and I'm going to click on the gradient editor. I'm going to add some, I'm going to make the gradient diagonal first of all and secondly I'm going to change the opacity of the second stop to be a hundred percent and I'm going to add some four stops. Not evenly spaced I'm gonna add one here and the first stop I'm going to make it completely black. The second stop I'm going to make it completely white the third stop is going to have a lightness, a relatively dark lightness, something like 57. The fourth will have a lightness of 140, something like that. The next will become dark again. And the last one, I will make it completely white again. And here we have our aluminium texture. Next we're going to draw our bronze texture. I'm just going to do it in exactly the same way as before. I'm going to draw a square first, but I'm going to use a orangey color. And I'm going to use exactly the same filter 
and I'm going to add some shine which will also be exactly the same. First I press Ctrl D to duplicate the square and remove the filter and then I'm going to set the opacity to 28% and I'm going to add a gradient. The gradient I want to use exactly the same gradient as with steel. I'm also going to give the gradient line a bit of an angle like so. But I'm going to change the color of the gradient. I'm going to set the color to and I'm also going to set the saturation to 100% and finally I'm going to set the lightness according to I'm going to set the lightness of the this stop to be 150, the lightness of the rest will stay the same. And here we have a nice bronze texture.